racket. It always has been. It is possibly the oldest, easily the most profitable, surely the most vicious. It is international in scope. It is the only one in which the profits are reckoned in dollars and the losses in lives. There are only two things we should fight for. One is the defense of our homes and the other is the Bill of Rights. War for any other reason is simply a wreck. It is best described, I believe, as something that is not what it seems to the majority of the people. Only a small, inside group knows what it is about. It is conducted for the benefit of the very few at the expense of the very many. How many of these war millionaires shouldered a rifle? How many of them dug a trench? How many of them knew what it meant to go hungry in a rat-infested dugout? How many of them spent sleepless, frightened nights ducking shells and shrapnel and machine gun bullets? Out of war, nations acquire additional territory. If they are victorious, they just take it. This newly acquired territory promptly is exploited by the few, the self-same few who run dollars out of blood and the war. The general public shoulders the bill. For a very few, this racket, like bootlegging and other underworld rackets, brings fancy profits. But the cost of operations is always transferred to the people who do not profit. I spent most of my time being a high-class muscle man for big business, for Wall Street, and for the bankers. Simply a racket. Described, I believe, is something that is not what it seems to the majority of the people. Only a small, inside group knows what it is about. It is conducted for the benefit of the very few at the expense of the very many. Kill, 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 kill. War is a racket, all right. To hell with war!